Good morning, everybody. It's time for beach day. We're going to be doing the fish, the small fish row. Be cute. But I have to show you. Look what I'm working on. These are um, the new Hoop Sisters pumpkins. So I've got an opening inside, which I'm going to put cinnamon sticks. I still have to do the leaves. This is the smaller version, which I think is adorable. And this is just one part of the larger version. Let's see if I can show you. It's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? The feathers. I can't wait for these to be done. This is what boss I'm doing next month. Oh, they're so cute. This is the brand new CD. So, and I'm even going to do an acorn too. There's a design in there for an egg. Be cute. Okay, we'll put the cutie away and we'll start with this week, which is week three of our beach day club. Here are basically our pieces. So hopefully you can see I've got a line, one line grown diagonally on the back. Um, I don't normally have to do that because I have this great grid glide. Um, up here, and I can use that by itself without needing to do um, the line. But all we're going to do is we're actually going to make a pump, um, a snowball. See, I got pumpkin on the brain. Basically, we're going to sew from this corner to this corner, and we are going to flip it, and it'll be one corner. But we're going to do that on all four corners. With the grid guide, all I have to do is line up the needle where I want and keep this end of the corner on the line. And I normally sew just a thread width on this side into the corner, um, on that side of the line, just to give it a nice crisp fold in half and everything will match up. Turn around. She really doesn't want to work. It's one corner. I'm not even going to iron these until I'm done because they're far enough away that I don't have to worry about stitching over them. Just gonna stitch all the way around. One more. Actually, that one's a little bit more. Corner. This is just how you make a snowball. So basically, you can take any any square and do a third different size, a third of the large size in your corner, and it'll be a snowball. Oh, machine came on threaded. Oh, 
kind of want to play today. Came on the credit card. Ugh. Once in a while, you you can't let the machine know you're in a hurry. Because it's always going to be a pain. All right, let's try that again. Every machine has its quirks. I don't care what brand it is, what make it is, what size it is, they all have their own. No, let me fix that corner. There we go. So all we did was sew on all the corners and now we're gonna flip them up and iron them. And I will cut off the excess. I have a tendency not to leave the excess on the corner because it's two pieces of fabric. And when you're trying to piece this block to another block to another block, these two pieces of fabric can move. So I've learned it's just not worth Keeping them on. There's some things that I will save time, you can save time with, like the dog ears. Well, I very rarely ever cut my dog ears off. But this, this is not one of those times. Okay. So that's what it looks like. I'm just going to cut off. Actually, that a little bit better. It's early in the morning. I've already gotten dressed. Let the dog out. Made a cup of tea. Very early. Once this video is done, then I'll process it and I'll post it on YouTube. Once I'm at the shop. It's one corner, it doesn't want to. I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Most of you are probably not even up yet. I've been up since about four. That's just the nature. I don't sleep very well when I know I've got things to do. Okay, let's see what we've got. So now we have our little snowball and we have one more piece of the tan. And we're gonna do the same thing the blue, except we're going to make sure we go on this corner and this corner. So we'll just do one at a time. It's terrible getting old. Having to need glasses. I end up, the reason I'm having so much trouble is because I'm not using a leader. Um, little quirk of my machines and a lot of brothers is they want to suck your beginning fabric into the plate. And that's where a leader and an ender come into play. And it stops that. 
because we're on a video, I'm not using a legal agenda. I think I'm gonna have to start using them. Just to um, stop that from happening on video. It's annoying. If anybody follows Bonnie Hunter, you'll know what a leader and ender is. And please feel free to check out her um, videos. She's an amazing quilt designer and quilter. And that's when I learned about leaders and enders. And you can actually make a whole quilt. So you can be making two quilts at the same time. If you have a stack of squares or you're making half square triangles for one quilt, Put a stack over here and just start and end with one of those miscellaneous um, half square triangles. Now, if you're a really scrappy quilter, which I'm not, I have to have organized chaos. I love Bonnie's designs, but I don't necessarily do it scrappy um, just because I can't. Physically, I can't. I can't just pick up fabric, any piece of fabric and plop it in. I, I really need organized chaos, which is why I love her designs. I can use a bunch of neutrals as the background without having to use the same one. Um, but yes, I definitely need I think I'm gonna have to start doing leaders and enders on videos because it will stop a lot of the speculation I'm having. All right. All I gotta do is I am on her over. And cut it. Speaking of cutting, cut a lot of hair off. Um, I get to the point where I get tired of it. So all I'm gonna do now is just cut the excess off the ends and I just eyeball a quarter of an inch. I don't try and get my rotary cutter and ruler out and um, get it exact. As long as I, it's roughly a quarter of an inch, I'm happy. So I just do it with a scissor. All right. So here is the piece that I just did. And we are gonna sew it onto the end of our snowball piece. It doesn't matter which side you sew it on because you can turn the block around to get it in the right direction. And believe it or not, this block is done. All I have to do is iron it. All right. There is a little fish. I'll show you a close zoo. It is so cute. Look at the little fishy. So you're going to make five of these for the next row. I will warn you, okay? But I learned the hard way myself. First and the last filler block is a different size from these middle filler blocks, okay? So if you use the same size and don't pay attention, this row will be longer than it should be, okay? All right, the row before that, all we did was alternate blues. You can put as many blues in there um, as you want, in as many blue squares. I actually introduced two new foods just to try and start 
making the bottom a little bit darker. But basically, all I did was open a bucket for this quilt. I did not cut any new fabric. It's all from my stash, which is kind of cute. I think it's coming out really, really cute. So the next week, we're going to be doing bigger fish. Same idea, just a little bit different look. All right, everybody, you know where I am. It's time for me to get to work now. I hope you have a great day. And please uh, let me know in the comments if you like. If you have any questions, comments, I would love to hear them. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.